Good evening uh, to everyone. Welcome to the Bolivar Hall. As always, uh, we are delighted to have you here. For me, it's a privilege to introduce this uh, particular book to you and also Barry, because I am, over the last two years here in London, I have seen how the interest in Latin America uh, is growing and growing every, every day. I'm just trying to tell you that it's a very interesting book, it's a very serious book, well-researched, academically uh, based, fact-based, and uh, serious. We have uh, enormous respect for these kind of uh, uh, approaches to our reality, and we, are always, uh, we always welcome uh, serious people trying to, be, to understand what's really going on in, in our countries. Okay, uh, well, uh, thanks very much, Ambassador. Um, uh, thanks very much for allowing me to come here to introduce my book to uh, the public here in London. Thanks. So when I arrived in Venezuela, what for me was the most noticeable things there? Well, one of the first things I found, apart from cultural differences and all that, but one of the first things I found was the hysteria within the media. There was this air of hysteria within the media, not just in terms of of politics, I'll touch on that in a minute, but also just in terms of the tenor of the media in the way that it constantly sold and sold and sold the consumerist ethos behind the media. Uh, but also the unremitting, shrill, insistent, and never-ending barrage of anti-government propaganda against the government of Venezuela, the legitimate elected government of Venezuela, and particularly directed at the person of President Chavez, how this hatred of the government of Venezuela was concentrated into the person of President Chavez himself. Not even President Chavez, just Chavez. Um, I think it's interesting to see two things that have happened recently in our so-called established democracies. The reaction to Obama's health care reforms and the absolute uh, persecution and unremitting media campaign against them, which gave Obama a taste of what President Chavez has been facing with his media, uh, or not his media, but with media in Venezuela for many years now, portraying him as a fascist, uh, Obama I'm talking about, as Hitler. Uh, hey, funny, they were calling Chavez that as well, yeah? Uh, and, um, so that was one example of the media showing how out of control the corporate media has become. My name is Barry Cannon. I am a postdoctoral fellow in the School of Law and Government in Dublin City University in Ireland. Um, I decided to write this book about President Hugo Chavez and about Venezuela uh, because I lived in Latin America and while I was there I became interested in Chavez uh, precisely because when he was emerging, uh, standing for election in 1998, he was talking about things which most leaders in Latin America were, was not talk, were not talking about, which was about poverty, about inequality, about the problems with neoliberalism and the fact that it did not work for the majority of people. Going against the current of most thinking in Latin America and indeed in the world at the time, that a political leader should do that. There is a feeling in Europe and there is a and you find this in a lot of analysis uh, about democracy and about European democracy and about democracy in developing countries particularly, that European democracy and United States democracy is the model to which emerging democracies in developing countries should be measured. So in other words, if it does not match up to European standards, therefore it's not democracy. And I would question that. I would say that in actual fact we do not have the model democracy, that our democracies are deeply flawed, that there are elements of authoritarianism within our democracies as well as democratic elements as well, and that we should be less judgmental and much more open-minded about democracies in other countries such as Latin America, in Latin America and such as in uh, Venezuela in particular. And we should be prepared to learn from that about the need, for example, to make our democracies more democratic, more participative. Uh, and Venezuela can give us some ideas as to how we can go about that. So I think instead of this 
we are the perfect democracies and they are the learner democracies. We should have more a conversation and discussion of equals rather than uh, master to pupil. Uh, my name is Stephen Wilkinson and I'm an academic. I teach at London Metropolitan University and I teach Latin American and Caribbean studies. What is happening in Venezuela is very important in the sense that what the government of Venezuela appears to be doing is it is trying to extend the relevance of politics to ordinary people, to the poor people who historically have been disenfranchised, have been taken out of the political process by trying to incorporate them, by making them stakeholders in the political process. And I think that is a lesson that uh, European politicians should learn because what we're experiencing in Western Europe is a decline in interest in politics and it's because I think that politics has become less and less relevant to people's lives. I think uh, the Venezuelan embassy here in London is doing a magnificent job in uh, providing us with this uh, possibility to learn more about the reality of Venezuela and the Bolivarian Revolution.